Go. Go check out IGSky.com if you're looking for some cheap FIFA 16 coins. Use Rossi for an 8% discount. Enjoy the video. Hello guys, it's Rossi1990 here and it's going to be episode number 48 of the Random Hybrid. For today's episode, we're actually going to be using a new Inform from this week's Team of the Week, which is none other than Inform Bufal. He's a 5-star skiller. He's also got a position change from a cam to a left winger. We'll see if that benefits him in any way, shape or form. He looks sick. I actually really like his cam card as well, so... I'm hoping it's going to be a slight improvement, but at the same time, I don't want it to improve too much because I already like it, if that makes sense. Because sometimes so an inform can ruin a card, if that even makes sense. But hopefully you can smash the like button, see if we get 300 likes this video, that'd be absolutely amazing. And also, two things people have been asking for. Special, okay? We're going to do special only today for the free players. I can't guarantee it's going to be a full inform team because sometimes that just isn't possible. But we're going to do for special, also, one and one. So the first player we see... We're going to do Defender and we're going to do Striker because Bufal's a winger. I might do Centre Mid, I'm not too sure. But we'll do Defender. Or should Ball out and do any? We're going to do any. Screw it. We're going to do any. Hopefully it doesn't go tits up because sometimes it can. Especially if you get like two left wingers and a Striker. You can't really do much with that. Unless it's unless they link in some way, shape or form. But anyway, we're going to go for one and one Wait for it. Here it comes. Lee Gurren is banned. Who's going to be? Okay, well, it's actually... Um, uh, Christ, what the hell is that called again? Well, the Irish people. <laughs> it's all St. Patrick's Day, that's the one. And um, that'll do. It's, te it's technically an inform, but it's kind of not at the same time. I think it's like the same stats as his regular card. But that is what it is. He's a Premier League player, so that's now a banned league. We're going to search a price range on this next one, because else we'll just get the same players again. Um, even though the time would have expired on most of them. But we're going to go for like 15k, just to get rid of the like low-rated ones. Like 16k, or that, whatever that is. One and one is going to be... Holy shit! Okay. Oh my god. Woohoo! The complete opposite. I can't even afford him. I can just afford him. Just. I have 600k. Ooh, it's going to be interesting. But my god, is it going to be fun. Let's try it out. Oh my god. I'll be right back when I'm over at the squad screen. Holy okay, shit. so here we are over at the squad screen. And there's Bufal. You probably saw him for a second. But we're going to have to change the formation. Because we need to fit a left back and a centre mid in this team. So Carlos was our first player. And he is, of course, not in our club. We're going to have to concept him. I'm hopeful that I can afford him. And then uh, McCarthy was the next one, which is a... Uh, uh, McCarthy. McCarthy? Is it two Cs? Yeah, McCarthy. James McCarthy. There we go. Concept. I'll probably get this wrong. That one. Still don't really know. But there are three players who got to link this team around. Interesting. Very interesting. Um... Obviously, I don't think I want Bufal in a left mid position. I'd much rather have him as a winger. I don't really want to rock five at the back, if I'm honest. But people seem to be asking for that a lot. It's like, yeah, you should definitely try five at the back. Doesn't interest me, really, if I'm honest. Um, so what should we go for? Obviously, we need a formation with a winger. We need a formation with a left back. So it might well have to be one of the four three threes. What do we go for, though? Four three three. Um... Oh, he sat there like that. Obviously, Roberto Carlos will link to anybody. So that's kind of handy. So we could go... We could go for the false nine. Half tempted to go for the false nine, you know. And I think that is what I'm going to do. I think that is what I'm going to do. And instantly, the player I want to rock in the false nine position is in form Ben Arthur. I didn't use him when he came out because we had just previously used his card in the random hybrid before. So I was like, I can't have too much Ben Arthur. But while he's hot and while he's in demand, there he is, 84 rated Ben Arthur. Get in the team, my son. So obviously he is nice. <laughs> it's a very nice card. He's a five-star skill as well as Bufal. So we've got a very nice double up front there with the five-star techers. And in here, what I could either do is go a French player who gets a strong link with Ben Arthur. I could ultimate chemistry it, and then Ben Arthur wouldn't need another link. So if we go to Ligue 1, he plays for... Uh, shit. Nice he plays for, doesn't he? So if we go to send mids from Nice... Oh shit, we've got this guy who's an Ivory Coast player. <laughs> As if I was Irish, because some people obviously sometimes get that confused. That would be pretty crazy. Uh, it doesn't really help us too much unless we want to go... Uh, we could probably get Yaya Torre in the team somehow if we went down him. Oh, Alright, Mendy. Uh, oh yes, I remember these people. We're going to go for Mendy this time. 76 rare Mendy, I've already got one, so that's handy. And he'll sit in the team quite nicely, so holy shit, good times. Good times! 
Now, over the other side, obviously McCarthy needs some chemistry, so we can either give it to him in a centre in the defender, or we could go... Um... Interesting. I might give it to him in a centre mid and a centre back. Because I want to go down... Ah, no, but that's Lee Gurren. I was going to say, I want to go Thiago Silva and then use a mana match Surigu. But then, obviously, that's it's Lee Gurren, which we've already got. So we don't want to do that, because that's just stupid. Um, so what we could do is go Premier League here, then, I guess. We could just throw out the centre-backs and then go down something different on the right-hand side. So we were to go for some Irish centre-backs, possibly. Um, or Everton, of course. Do we go for Ireland? Ireland! Let's see what they've got first. Obviously, they'll have some green cards in here. Quite a lot of them, by the looks of it, because there's a lot of doubles. Um, is there anybody in there who tickles my bowels? We've got Clark, who's got actually a half-decent card. Why has he got three? Is that an inform? Or an upgrade or something? Because he's got two of them, which I'm guessing is regular, and then his green. And then he's got that, which is slightly different. Delaney's there. We've got O'Shea. None of them really have what is known as pace, do they? Which is nice. Um, obviously, Everton. Oh, we're actually going to go for one Irish and one Everton centre back. I think that makes total sense. So we're going to go for. We we'll use his Clark. I don't know if that's like an inform or something, but we'll go ahead and use him. And then we will use Everton centre back in either Jagielka or we've got. Oh, Funes Mori. I think that's an inform, is it not? Oh yeah, we use Funes Mori. Different, different to what we normally would go down. And then we could obviously go down Argentine maybe on the right hand side. Holy shit! Um, so goalkeeper, we just have to go for any Premier League goalkeeper or legend card. But I think we're good and we're going to go for a Premier League one. We'll use somebody I've got in my club. Maybe like an inform or something I've got in here. I don't have any informs, obviously. Um, so who should we use? Somebody who we don't normally use. What about Butland? What about Schmeichel? Yeah, we'll use Schmeichel for this team because it's Schmeichel. It's the main man. And that's not the legend card, Schmeichel, by the way. If you're blind, it's the regular one. Anyway. Um, so now we are good to go, as far as I know, for like a trio over here, or maybe like an, like I said, I might want to link in like an Argentine right back, so Zabaleta obviously wouldn't, not what we're after. So if I was to go for that guy, Bufani or whatever, and then an Argentine centre mid in, ooh, Valerie, interesting, or even Pereja or Enzo Perez, and then, holy shit, we could use uh, Messi. It's McGee. Could we use Messi? No, because he wouldn't actually get full chemistry, would he? So that's not not allowed. Um, what do we do then, my child? We could go French right winger and then breach it out into like another league. Or we could go another Irish player, another Premier League player. I don't really want to go another Premier League player actually looking at it because we have got a number. We've only got two leagues in it so far, really, because Legends I don't normally count as a league because that's not really a league, is it? Let's be real. Um, so we could get like a little trio over here of three players who link together, like a um, a centre Just a sort of centre mid and see what's out there. See what we could use. These are what I've got by the looks of it. See, Koke wouldn't be a bad one. See when Ireland's in there, take zero. But let's search concept because I don't have all the best ones. I do have quite a few good ones. We could go for like a Modric team of the year. But then again, we have got to think that we've got to afford Roberto Carlos. He's going to be a lot of my coins. So if I haven't got the player, then it's a little bit of a shit moment. So what could we go down? Let's have a look and see. Actually, I'm going to search right wingers because that's where, obviously, I want to have a good player. I want to have a good attacker. Obviously, Messi, we could go down. We could use Bale. Uh, oh, we could use Di Maria. Di Maria. Um, the problem I got is I want to buy his inform, and he'd just be probably too expensive for me at this moment in time. Griezmann is a shout. Griezmann is a shout. The right wing Griezmann. Holy hell. Or we could use Nani. I'm going to go for another five star skiller. Isn't Ricardo Charisma a five star skiller as well? Why is he? I haven't used him this year yet, I don't think. Is he here? Or am I just going back too many years and he's actually not in the game anymore? Charisma. Maybe he's not. Maybe I've got that wrong. Maybe I've gone past him. I can't see him. Can you see him? Can you see him? Ricardo Carrez. I'm going to search his name. Because I swear he's in the game. And um, I think he's a five-star skiller. And he'd be a guy I'd like to try. I've not used him. Oh, there he is. Concept. Okay, he's a right mid. That makes sense. Have I used him? No. First owner, seventh of the tenth and not used him. Why not give him a try? Holy shit. Let's get him in the team. He's in the Turkish league, though. Ooh, difficult one. Um... Yes, difficult one for show. Let's go Turkey. Let's breach out. 
I'm tempted to go back for Nani now, if I'm honest. I thought he was Portuguese League. I'm not too sure why I didn't know he was Turkey. Where the hell's the Turkish League? Come to me! Turkish League. There it is. Right, what have you got, Concepts and Amit? You've got Inan, you've got Salza. Nice. Um, oh my god, look at that beard. I mean, holy hell, it's like a bee's nest on your face. Imagine carrying that shit around all day with you. Holy hell. Okay, this hasn't gone to plan, so unfortunately for Ricardo Caresma, Tits McGee, you're out the team. I'm half tempted to go for Nanny after seeing him. My boy, Nanny, previous of Manchester United. Oh, and he has got two. I didn't realize he had a left wing, left wing, left wing, and a right wing. So we'll go for the right wing one because obviously that fits our team. Oh, tell me, he's, he's, he's fucking Turkey as well. Who's in? Who's even in the freaking Portuguese league these days? Why did I not know he was Turkey? Since when was he from Apache? Where have I been? My God, we've got Legend Larson down here. Not quite, but you know what I'm saying. We'll go right back, right wing again. We're going to search for something different because that's kind of ruined my moment, hasn't it? I'm after him to give a Griezmann, actually. Uh, I want a five-star skiller, though. I don't know why, but I want a five-star skiller. So who else is five-star? Kelvin, obviously, a silver option. I've just remembered him off the top of my head. He's a good five-star skiller. Um, who else is a right wing five-star skiller? Messi's not five star skills this year, is he? Um, do we go Kelvin? Do we go Kelvin? Or actually, Wellington Silver from Bolton, I believe, he is a five star skiller as well. But Kelvin's my boy. Kelvin. There's two options of Kelvin as well. He's got his Porto one there. I see his Palermas, Palmeiras even, one down the bottom there. We could go Bacali though for something slightly different. I don't think he has fives, he has four. Which is decent enough. You know, four star skills is okay. Seem to be going a little bit low now. And we're getting to players I don't really want to use, if I'm honest. So, tits to that. Russell's in form. Um, right. No, I'm going to try Charisma. After all that, I'm going to try Charisma. Because him and Annie are basically the same, if I'm honest. So, we've got Charisma. He plays for Bajik Das. I need them to have like a good right back. Because I'm not happy. Because I like to have good right backs. But Zeke Das, give it to me strong! Shit, I got Beck. Oh my god, I didn't even know half these players played for them. They got a good centre mid. Oh shit, yeah, they got a good centre mid. This guy's fantastic. Very nice card. I think that might be an inform. We've also got a German who's quite nice, but that guy's very decent. Very decent. And I don't mind using that. What else have they got in the whole team? Is that an even better one again? CDM? Or was that the one we just saw? Shit, they got Mario Gomez. They got Tor. Shit, he might be a better option to use on the wing. What's his skill moves? He's got four, high, low. Really nice card. But I'm going to try Charisma because I've already said it now and I can't go back on my word. Yeah, we're going to use this guy. He's definitely an inform. Definitely an inform. He gets a strong link. Then we just have to go for a Turkish right back. Surely, surely you're not going to troll me now. Turkish right back who's good. All right, what have we got? He used to have a lot of pace, I swear to God. Still got quite a nice card, though. Silver. I think he's on my bench. For some reason, I think I got that guy on my bench. Um, he's got some pace. Well, I want a pacey one. I'm not going to lie to you. I want someone with pace. Or do we go, like, standard and use one of these? Gunal or uh, that guy. We're going to use this guy because I swear I've already got him. Yeah, I do. He is a silver, and I'm first owner. High, medium work rates. Nice. Is everyone getting full chemistry? Yes, they are. We have the five-star skill attack of dreams. Maybe not of dreams, because if you were to say that, you would probably go down the route of Ronaldo, uh, Neymar, striker card, if he ever exists. He may well exist at some point. Imagine him getting in full striker card. Holy hell. I'm going to go on Bataka for the five-star skills. Just hit me then, as I've seen him on my bench. Jordan! He's got the fives. Hmm... Nah, since we've been using Lewis Cook too much recently, that would make me want to use him more. So I'm going to go down the Charisma route. So I'm going to go buy these players now. I'll be right back. I'll see you in two. Boom. Okay, we are back and some strange glitch has happened. And this is like Pax Roberto Carlos. I just went out and bought him for 600... No, sorry, 585,000 coins. And it says he's first owner. Holy shit. He was actually packed it well, yesterday. Actually, because technically it's a 24 hour summer bonus at 2 a.m., but what the hell? I'll take a pack pull Roberto Carlos. If he stays like that, I'll keep him. But I doubt that it'll stay like that. I'm actually going to go out of FIFA and come back in and see if it stays like that because that's crazy. I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm back and I've ruined the glitch. It says now I've bought for 565k. I thought that was very, very strange. I almost had a pack pull Roberto Carlos there without actually even packing him. That is what dreams are made of. But here's the team in all of its glory. And also the player pictures have shown up finally. So there's obviously some kind of lag or something happening. And um, But here it is. A lot of informs. After saying that, I was going to try and... Try, technically, to make a... Um, Everybody in form, which I probably could have gone down because I could have had Butland in goal in form or any other in form. Probably could have found, or maybe not somebody who has old McEmishu and Ben Arthur, but we could have gone down a different route and made it a whole in form. But I'm very happy with how the team's turned out. Quite happy now that that doesn't say first owner because I would have been, I would have probably kept him if it said first owner and that would have been such a waste of coins because look how much he cost for a left back. Crazy amount of coins. But it is a legend himself, Roberto Carlos. I'm looking forward to using this team. Let's go find myself an opponent and I'll be right back. Game on. Okay, so we found ourselves our opponent and he has got. A BPL team. Pretty good one. De Bruyne, Sterling, William, Sturridge. You name it, he's got it. Yaya Torres also got himself a guest. So it's going to be difficult. Two against one. It's game on. Kevin De Bruyne. Fancy smacking this one. Oh, that's in. Off oh, the bloody cherry nipper. Can we clear our lines? Schmeichel comes and plucks it out of the sky like an absolute boss. That's what he does. The ball comes through to Sabri, and we lose the ball oh, again. Oh, the ball of dreams. Charisma finds this guy. He's got a rifle of a strike, apparently. He hits one. Oh, huge save to Heia. Who's following it up, though? Buffal, possibly. We don't even get a corner. Unbelievable. He's not going to give him the ball back, as for show. Oh, Babrun. Babrun. <laughs> De Bruyne. De Bruyne, even. Puts it over with some kind of scissor attempt. There's Mari. There goes Charisma. He's got skills to pay the bills. Remember that. Oh, random skill. Oh, it opened up a hell of a gap. I'm charisma. I think I fucked it. Yeah. Screwed it yet again. Stupid little freak. He's way outside his area then. Keeps it alive. Here's Mendy. Where's that guy? Ben Arthur. Feed. Oh, he's in. It's McCarthy. And he scores. 1-0 and it's our CDM in an you know, unbelievable advanced position. What a great pass through. Claims of offside. Not given. Goal scored. 1 0. Game out. This is danger. It's got danger written all over it for the Kevin. Oh, shit. We shouldn't have slid in there. That's poor. Should be a goal. It's cracking finish. Daniel Sturridge over the Unbelievable, I see. <laughs> Fuck. He scores. Oh, shit. That's all my fault. Because what is that? I mean, that slide attempt was Aston Villa quality. That really was bad. And, yeah. We're drawing now. 1 0. We've got a few in our locker. Buffal's going to take this, though. We're just going to try and bend this over the wall. He's got to go back, but Buffal has a go! Off oh, the line! It lagged horribly. We're going to hit this first time. We instantly regret it. And there goes Gail Clichy. The lag seems to be building again. Not going to have one of them moments again. And a free kick happened somewhere. Who even knows what's going on? Let's see. Not his lag. Are you Hey, I was yawning. That's not fair. And there goes Yaya Torre. Just running a goal. Oh, he's given a penalty! No way! What for? He just stood there. I wonder what the hell was going on. The game just like froze. Oh, I don't know about that, ref. I don't know about it. Sabri, you dickhead. But it's Yaya Torre against Kasper Schmeichel. Who's going to win? Look at Kasper. He's going to pull out the wobbly legs. He's going just over here. Ah, oh, shit. We're losing. Unbelievably, we're losing. How? I don't even know how we're losing this game. Fuck me. So simple, but yet so stupid at the same time. Yaya Torre scores. That's all that matters right now. Fuck a duck. Look at that. I mean, where the hell's that? Yaya Torre. Half time. A little bit annoying that we're not winning. To be fair, it's quite an even game, but I feel like I should be in front. I've missed some chances. Should be a lot better second half. Hopefully. Let's go. Foul, who seems to be quite far back. But here goes Mendy. Waiting for something to happen. Waiting for something to tick. And Mendy now sees that and gives it to McCarthy. Who fights Ben Arthur? The left of the dreams. Yes. That's what we like to see. Two all. Get in. That's a nice goal. Ben Arthur has weird shaped hands. But we really don't care right now. Great little ball from McCarthy. And a great finish. On that left peg, you expect it. It's 2 all. We get the ball back with Charisma. Charisma over to Sabri. Should be the other way around, but we will absolutely take it at this time. Sabri now in, in infield. Oh, the seeds! You better get there, my love child. It's Benjamin! Oh, Ben Arthur. Oh, you fluffed it. I wanted that on his left. I have no idea why he went out that with his right. Oh, shit. Well, he has not reacted to it. And there goes Sabri. I fucking really didn't make the most of that, did we? Oh, Kieran Clark again. That a solid game. For some reason, he's after the one, too. Kieran Clark? This is our centre back! Not too sure I want him in this position, but he's clawing down! Kieran Clark! Oh, the big save from the goalkeeper. Oh, shit. It could have been so good, but yet it was so bad. Here's Kieran Clark again. He's still alive to the threat. Somebody's in the box! Penalty! 
Oh, Ben Arthur with the skills. Oh, and I think it's offside now. Unbelievable. It's all happening. You can't even call this shit. There's shit great. Ben Arthur. Oh, the ball was dry. The ball was with this guy. Oh, there's a gap. There's a huge gap. It's the moment to win the game. It's Ben Arthur. There's lag, but who cares? Ben Arthur with the goal. 3 2. 84th minute. What a vital time to score. Ben Arthur's coming up huge for us. It's Buffal's episode, but it doesn't even feel like Buffal's playing. It's all about the Ben Arthur. It's 3 2. Don't you even dare. I've already had a goalkeeper score against me once. Get it clear. Who's there? It's Mendy. Oh, the scenes when Mendy pulls that off. We're just going to twat this and hope it goes in. Mendy, is that on target? Ref, don't blow up now. Is that going to go in? I think it's going wide. I think it was going wide anyway. But who cares? Game over. We pick up the three points or the win. See what all went down. Holy shit. Boom! So that's how it all went down. Pretty happy with how the team played. It was a little bit of a struggle. Came up against a guy, like I said, who had a guest. Sometimes that can work in your favour and it can really work against you because when you're attacking, it does leave open areas. But at the same time, you always have like two people trying to attack with you. And it can be very, very crazy. But luckily for this game, it didn't matter too much and I came out with the win. I felt like I should have won it more convincingly, but a lot of shit went down that game. Um, I didn't get Buffal enough in the game for my liking. I might have to try him again in a different team because he just wasn't in the game. It was all about Ben Arthur in this team and he did the, he did the doings. He did the job and he got us the win. The 3-2 win, which is awesome. That's going to be it for this episode. If you have enjoyed it, a like would be absolutely fantastic. See if we can smash 300 likes. That would be beautiful. Also, let me know in the comment section below who you'd like me to use in the next episode. There are some very nice cards out at the moment. There's also Team of the Season. Very, very close. There's going to be so many, so many videos of the random hybrid. Don't you worry about that. It will never die. Hope you enjoyed the video, like I said before. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you next time. And do bye-bye.